Hello, you old fart smellers. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And we're going to go ahead and do part four of the uh, gun stock build for the uh, Umarex Gauntlet 25 caliber air rifle. And uh, this shot thought I'd show where I'm at so far. Um, what I want to do, I want to keep the grip. I want the grip to be like this. Because I like that grip. And I do shoot this gun really well. So I want to keep all my my settings the way they were before I took it apart. So, uh, we're doing a lot of measuring for this and uh, we're getting our thicknesses, how, how thick we want to make it. So, we want to keep this part too. Because I'd like for it to at least look like a new uh, gauntlet stock in some way. So, I'm going to keep this part and we're going to do that, duplicate that on this. So right now, this is what I have so far. Uh, you can see here that we've got the same thing. So now what we have to do, since this part right here is the widest part, we need to do that next. So I'm going to carve all this out first then I will go in and start cutting this down so before we start this part we got to find out how wide it is uh, so this is how I got the end on it I just took that and drew it so we'll just carve all this metal or metal <laughs> carve all this wood out and all this wood and start shaping that to what we need it to be so I put it so that this here would hide the bottom part of the uh, the aluminum piece that I put in so basically it's going to look like this right here See, I just hid, hid all that, because it doesn't need to show all that internal stuff, you know. So, we'll put it on there just like that, and leave it that way. I was going to go and cut all the way up and leave all that bottom show, but remember, I couldn't use that set screw because it broke off. And I didn't want that to be showing this part right here. So I just said, well, hell, I'll just uh, cover it all up. So now it looks looks better that way. So now all i got to do is carve this part out and sand it down. You know, fine detail. Do, start doing some fine detail with the sandpaper. So... We're getting there, guys. <laughs>
All right, we are down to, I got more sanding to do, but I'm going to go ahead and coat it with uh, some uh, boiled linseed oil, and that will show up all the imperfections, and then we'll wait till it dries completely and redo it. So for now, let's go ahead and get some down in these holes. I was going to do a uh, pistol grip with, uh, you know, plates, like a regular pistol, but I decided, nah, let me just keep on with what I was doing. Very many perfections in it. Looks pretty good. And I'll do the insides of mine too because they need protected too. I've seen a lot of people who they'll finish the outside but they won't finish the inside. Yep, right there's an imperfection already. See, that shows it up right there. I got a line right there that needs to be done. So we'll let this dry, and then we'll address that. We got a couple of the wormholes. And now I got a bug flying around in here. There we have it. Now, I'm going to wipe all that off. Yep, we got a few imperfections to get rid of right here. We got some lumps or humps. So the reason I wipe it off is because I don't want a big build up of this stuff in my sandpaper when I go to try to sand it. Plus, I like the matte look anyway. Um, so We'll take and put this on the gun and see how it looks all together. Alright guys, the time moment of truth. There she be. So now the only thing I need to do is drill a hole down in the middle. And we're going to make that a separate video. How to pin your stock. So, uh... We're going to do that, and we're going to drill from up here down in it, because this grain goes right straight across right here. That's weak right there, so we need to reinforce that. So, but there you have it. we got an adjustable cheek piece, 
adjustable buttstock, new stock built for the gauntlet. I got a place for the bipod. I got a Picatinny rail on it. And I butted it up against this part here that holds your bottle and just kind of rounded it off a little bit. And it hides the mechanism that goes to the, uh, the adjuster. Now I didn't have no choice but to leave this on there as my adjuster simply because there's just not a lot of room in there to put a bigger wheel. So I ended up putting the one that I had on it right back on it. Plus mine, my setting is back as far as it goes anyway. So the set screws in the top and uh, let me go get my bipod and put it on the bipod and we'll get a picture of that. There we have it. Bipod. There it is. All right, we'll take you off here and show you what we got. So there you have it, another fine stock made by Bison. Spread the word, I'll make you one, it'll cost you a lot of work in that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little series, uh, I got on fire for it so I went ahead and did it. So. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you want to help the uh, channel out to be able to make more videos for you. Uh, you can do so with PayPal at bisonworkshop at gmail.com. You guys have a good one. Later.